Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. Bit of a surprise showcase. Usually I have something that was sent to me by Mattel or one of my hobby partners like AJ Toys or Wheel Collectors. But in this particular case, this is all about what I found in store. The word got out yesterday that the two packs, the new premium two packs, which is a showcase I'll be doing very, very soon, were showing up. I hadn't seen them from Mattel or anyone. It was, I think it was a surprise for to everybody that Target had them. So I ran to Target, actually found two of the three sets, but was even more surprised to find these. And here's why. Sometimes I have a good idea, usually I have a good idea of not only what mixes are coming out, but what's in the mix and something like that. This was a complete surprise. Not only did I not know that the new mix of Hot Wheels ID was out and at Target's, but I also had no idea that some of these models were being made into Hot Wheels ID cars. So it was a complete surprise to look at the shelf and say, wait, what? There's a 911 GT3? And that, you know, I love what I do as Lamley. I love getting the stuff and be able to show it to you. But to just have that pure collector experience of like not even no leaks, no nothing, literally walking into the store and seeing something that completely shocked me, that was pretty cool. It's been a long, long time. And there's something to be said for that element of collecting, kind of like why we find uh, super treasure hunts and all that stuff. Nonetheless, I bought what I think was all six models. There's some over here out of shot. Um, I think it's it's a set of six. If there's a seventh that I didn't know about, then we'll figure that out later. But I think I've got all six and uh, bought one of each, left a few for the next person and uh, brought them home. And it's time to showcase them. I love doing Hot Wheels ID showcases because we've got the iPad out and we'll just continue to talk about them as we go. But we've got some I mean, ID's just hitting a stride, at least for us collectors. So let's talk about the stuff that's a little bit out of shot. I already opened them up, so we didn't have to go through all of that charade. But here is the packaging. Typical Hot Wheels ID packaging. Um, you know, the model goes inside there. There's the artwork there. And, of course, we have to look at the model. This is the Gotta Go 2. And here it is. Here is the model before we put it into the, uh, into the portal. Here is the model. Plastic cab, plastic toilet seat. That's not something I say very often. This model is highlighted by a plastic toilet seat. I'm assuming the plastic cab is there to uh, enhance the toilet seat, I guess. I don't know. Spectre Flame Gold. It's got the Hot Wheels ID wheels on it. Looking pretty cool. I mean, Hot Wheels ID has to have all kinds of elements to it, just like any Hot Wheels line. And so this got to go makes sense as an ID. I don't know if it's been an ID before. So let's go ahead and put it in the portal. And here we come in. Looking kind of cool. We'll have to showcase it here. And like I said, I always, I always enjoy it. We got to hit continue, right? Oh, I got to... There, link my pencil. There we go. And now we can have a look. All the little things behind the scenes. I like how they always replicate these models exactly how they are as the real model. There's no, like, enhancement, like the tires look real or something like that. But I think this is kind of cool this way. So that is your gotta go to let's uh let's move on to the next one which is the 2019 ford ranger raptor another one i had no idea was going to be a hot wheels id there's the packaging there's all of the information uh, which is kind of cool and here is the model so this deco it says hot wheels id on the side but this kind of checkered deco looks a lot like the ranger the ranger raptor that we saw the first edition, right, a couple of years ago, I think it was, uh, there were two colors, actually three colors, because I think one was a like a GameStop or Dollar General exclusive or something like that. Um, but this one looks cool. What I love here, what they've done, love how the ID rims go in this kind of matte gray, which looks really cool on the truck. These are premium models. You know, obviously they can't do the die cast chassis because it's got the chip in the bottom, but it's got every other bit of detailing, headlights, top, sides, back, everything is there. And this casting looks really, really cool. And we got to, therefore, put it into the portal. Let's see what we got. Got to hit continue on that. I'll try this again. Let's see. Come on, Ranger. There we go. Ranger Raptor making its way into the iPad. All the details. See, like, it's that little detail right there that I'm pointing to. Obviously, with the rivet, it's got to have that piece, but they and they replicate it, right? So instead of just making it like what would be a realistic bed, they actually create it that way. So I think that's kind of cool. I rarely race. You guys can obviously, I should 
do more of the racing, but it's cool to have these like almost like a checklist of the models that I have. So that is the Ranger Raptor moving on. Okay, very interested in this one because this is the first time I'm seeing something completely new from a wheels perspective on the 2012 Ford Fiesta Time Attack deco on this one, which looks kind of cool. That is the packaging. Let's have a look at the model and you can see brand new wheels, right? So I haven't heard anything about these. I don't know if they are specific to Hot Wheels ID. I'm assuming they are, but what a cool look, right? I can't, it's got these little notches in it. Um, it's really kind of cool. This kind of chrome red with the chrome spokes on it. I think that looks really cool. Um, model of the deco is really cool too. It almost has an HKS look, even though we know it's not an HKS deco, uh, time attack. Um, so yeah, I'm curious if we're going to see these wheels, obviously I'm assuming we'll see them more in ID moving forward, but will we see them like in other lines, like basic or something like that? I have no idea, but this one is a really cool. So again, collector oriented model. Let's get it into the, uh, garage. I think we have to continue. I read it. I learned how to do this. Let's put it back in. There we go. Come on in, Ford Fiesta. Oh, now look at that. Now this one has the ID wheels. All right, I'm gonna have to find out more about that because this one has the ID wheels on it, but like kind of done up with that chrome outline. Hmm. Interesting. Mystery. Figure it out. Figure it out. I'll have to ask a few people and see if I can find out if this is a new Hot Wheels ID wheel because I like it. I like the Hot Wheels, the normal Hot Wheels ID wheel, but I kind of like this one too. It works on the uh, Ford Fiesta. So there we go with that one. Moving on, another surprise. Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. You're looking at this one and you're like, I think I've seen that one before. And you have, twice actually. This is Brendan Vitusky's actual Firebird. They, he created a replica of it for the basic range a few years ago. Um, his car is actually unpainted with this black roundel on it and uh, made a really cool basic version. And then we just saw this one go premium into Boulevard, right? And now we have it in ID um, as a raw model. Take a look at it here. This one looks fantastic. Again, I like these wheels a lot. Now you get what we'll call a premium treatment because you get the full grill, you get the back taillights, you get the obviously the side with the roundel. This one looks awesome. I'm sure Brendan is pretty stoked about having this one as a Hot Wheels ID. So let's uh, immortalize it on the iPad. Get it in there. Here it comes. Boom. Looking good, Brendan. Looking really good. Raw, unpainted, very cool fiber. No hood but that's his real car. That's what it looks like. Love the back there. Pretty sweet. You guys tell me what you think about that one because Brendan, this one is very, very cool. Happy to see that one join the uh, Hot Wheels ID family. And you know, it, we get these cars. It means we also get these castings, right, in Hot Wheels ID. And there's two possibilities there. Number one is that we see them in future decos in the Hot Wheels ID line like this. The other is that Maybe we see these pop up as ID chase cars in the basic range. So, you know, as, as this arsenal, like the R34 and the Bugatti and this Porsche, kind of cool. I'm sh it, it really opens up the possibility of these ID chase cars, which I think are be getting more and more popular. All right, R34, second version of the R34, right? This one's fast and furious. You have that little uh, film theme thing. I don't know if they have the, is it here? This is serious oh, screen time, right? But there it is. So this one started, what, a couple of uh, mixes ago as the HKS, which is still wildly popular, um, highly desired model. And now we have it coming back as the, <laughs> man, how many times? I didn't even count. I was thinking about fo sh focusing on the R34, but they release one of these Fast and Furious Skylines so often that... I don't need to because I've probably done it fairly recently. There's like five or six versions of this particular deco. Let's look at it, by the way. Of this particular deco, 
Uh, and this one's kind of cool because it goes raw instead of instead of like that gray or silver color. Okay, so now I'm looking. It's funny. I opened these up. Didn't even look at them when I opened them. But this one is raw, so you could almost call this like a Zamac. Can you imagine if they did this deco in a Zamac, a Walmart Zamac? People would go nuts, even though we've seen this deco so often. Um, now we got a Zamac version of the Hot Wheels ID, and that is pretty freaking cool. Okay, I, I'm in. I'm in. I have, I collect all of the R34, so I have all of those um, goofy Fast and Furious versions, the 95,000 versions of it, but um, I really like the one they did for premium. And this one will be the second best version because it's a Zamac, really, more than anything. And it's cool that it's a Hot Wheels ID. So let's get it into the system here. Here she comes. Brian Skyline. There it is on the iPad looking cool as a raw Hot Wheels ID model. I'll take it, man. I will take it. There's the... Uh, because it's normal California plate, right? Yeah, it's got it on there. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm guessing a lot of you do too. We can't argue with that. I mean, Hot Wheels knows. We always go, why so many? Why overkill with this? As we buy them up like crazy, right? Now, we'd like to think we know what we do, but we are, uh, we are little creatures that... Hey, we want that R34. We buy it, right? Okay, let's move on to the last one. It is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. like to pick a model to focus on. So before we do, I'm going to show you the packaging. We'll get that done right now. Welcome to the virtual garage. Eurosport is the theme here. There's three cars in that. I'll have to figure out what the other ones are. I don't. I never. I tend to not look at the themes. I should do that more often. But. Really cool, really cool casting actually, and has has had a bit of a rich history to be honest. When it first came out, and I think Dimitri Hot Wheels Dima designed this one. It started out in this red version, and I had to get used to the thicker spoiler because it's metal. That's what they have to do now with the basic cars. But every other detail, you know, uh, it's a little bulky in the back because of that spoiler. But I was like, man, every other detail is good. But I started kind of taken to it when in the second year when it came out in this GT3 RS version in black. And it got cool. It got the uh, Porsche on the on the spoiler, got the detail in the front. Obviously, the headlights are part of the window piece, so you always get the headlights so it doesn't look kind of goofy that way. Um, sometimes they're not going to do the back, of course. That's kind of normal with Porsche, but it does get the side. Now, I'll show you something kind of cool about this one. I think I've shown this before, but I have this variation on it. And if you, I'll maybe if you just saw it, you'll have to remind you so you can see the difference. This one has the chrome-lipped J5s on it. I found this one in a 9-pack around the holidays. Was surprised to find it and uh, instantly saw that it was the old. It was like a transition model from the old red one. It had the red one wheels. And I've never seen anyone find one like this. I'm sure they were out there and people just didn't notice it. But I bought it and I've always had that variation. I don't keep a lot of variations anymore, but I kind of thought that one was cool. Next year it shows up in white. This is one of my favorite versions. Um, only because it's kind of cool and clean and white. Didn't get the, it got the GT3 on the back, but didn't get the tail lights. But it still looks kind of cool, and I like it in the white. And then we had the first special version, which is the Zamac, which probably still is my favorite. I just love these plain Zamac. Show this when I did the Zamac feature, right? Not too long ago. So really dug the raw Zamac. Then of course the next year they dropped the bomb by making this in putting this purple version. In the final mix of 2000, would that have been 19? I think it was 2019, final mix. They did this purple version with the um, Trap 5 wheels on it. Of course, if you found it in this version, you knew you found a super treasure hunt. This one was voted the best super treasure hunt of the year in the Lamley Awards because it's just so clean. And that Spectre Flame purple was just, it's just so pretty. So this particular model was popular. And then I think the last time we saw it, Till now in two versions is this it was in that one of those special Walmart um, you know just just recently right so it's got the same deco as the green version this time with the PR5 wheels and in yellow the GT3 RS deco so that was the most recent release of this casting and now we have the ID but I'm always looking for a place to open this one why not do it right now this is the so we're deviating just a tad. This is actually the Hot Wheels Entertainment Forza Horizon 4 version 
first time it's gone premium. So it's been in basic over and over and over again. And all of a sudden it, it goes premium at entertainment to sit in stores now and then goes Hot Wheels ID. So they've really gone crazy with this casting. So let me open this one up so we can take a look at that. Why not, right? We're here. I got this from J Car while I was at the Matchbox convention last week. And I didn't want to show the rest of the mix. I didn't care too much about it. Um, but I definitely wanted this one. And how about that? GT3 RS Deco on the sides. Forza on the top. It's not overwhelming the Forza Deco. You got it on the doors too. But you get the uh, you get the detailing in the front and the rear, so you get in full premium here, and it's just you know it's good deco. I mean, if it didn't have the fours, I wouldn't complain, right? But there's got to be a theme here, so it looks cool, and I love the ten spokes on these. The only complaint I had about the super were the wheels. The chrome wheels look cool, but I thought the rims were not totally right. These ten spokes look mean, and I love that they did it in black. All right, so now we got the complete Porsche collection, and let's update it. Finally, we get to it. There is the ID in the ID Spectre Flame, which is more along the lines of like Super Treasure Hunt type Spectre Flame. So it's this kind of antifreeze color. Love what they've done with the rims. Obviously, it gets just like the premium. It gets the full tail light detailing. It gets the front grill detailing. All of that is there, and this model looks amazing so um i gotta get this thing i've been talking too much so i gotta reset the portal and uh we've got to get this beautiful porsche into the game and here it comes what see now i just said this i've said this id seems to like at first they were like we want to get the kids with the track and all that stuff obviously they'll race i mean and that's a that makes a ton of sense, but it seems like they've modified things a little bit to go after the collector. And I think, you guys tell me, I think we're responding because this thing is awesome. And it is definitely going, like most of these, into the collection. And I love having this version here in the garage. So there is the garage. There's all the new additions you know, going along with all these other cool Corvette, all these drift cars that they did in the last mix. Of course, there was the Bugatti, and there's the HKS Skyline. Pretty darn cool. You guys tell me what you think. Obviously, go hit your Target stores. These are hitting. Um, and then uh, if you can't find them, Hobby, I'm sure we'll have them soon enough so you can buy them through them too. I always support those Hobby dealers. Thanks, everybody. Bye.